All right, so we're going to see how this podcast goes. We've got myself, Jacob, we've got... Cindy. Bloomy. Bloomy was meant to be running it, but she's sort of <laughs> taking a I'm back shy. seat. She's shy. She won't be shy in a minute. She's got a yeah. couple of them. I like to talk, so I think I'll be fine. But the aim of this is just to have some discussions. We talk beer anyway, so we thought we might as well film it and see what happens. And something I think we've all gone through recently is adapting to life after uni. I was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, excuse me, first of all, <laughs> where's my starting salary of 55k? <laughs> do we, do we feel better after uni though? No. Well, I feel like I wasted my time. I'm dead. So yeah. And money. And money. It's expensive. That we don't have to pay yet, but yeah, it's fine. Girl, I'm paying mine back already. Well, like 50p a week. Yeah. How much it doesn't do you count. Charge? It doesn't I don't count. actually know. Actually, I don't know how the much thing much. is though, like, I remember like when I when I stopped working after a little bit, student finance, obviously I had to tell them, like, can you Call stop you taking me? Oh, yeah. And then I started working again. They were like, oh, HMRC, let me know that you guys are working. You're working. I was like, I don't know if I'm paying my back my I think it I must depends be. on your income. Yeah. When you go you're over 21k, you have to Oh, yeah, it's like, it's a fee. But do you remember when we were uni, we were like, oh, don't worry about it. You don't have to pay unless you're 21k. And we're like, wait. Yeah, and also, Missy needs to go around saying, Oh my god, like literally, the people that don't want to pay this back, we'll pay it yeah. back ASAP. I'll like, we'll pay, pay it, back. it all we'll up. Pay, we'll pay it back, but now. Girl, it's not the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So student loan. What was that? I don't know. People <laughs> act <laughs> weird in the background. <laughs> but the loan itself. I That's like a scam, I, first of all. Let's just talk about I that. Like I didn't really need about Girl, that. Girl, do you know why? It's not a scam, but. I feel like they set it, like, they know that not everyone's going to. Um, Pay it back. That's, <laughs> I was looking there and I saw students on the Red Bull can. So I got Where? distracted. Students. Oh. Anyway. But I feel like they, they it's kind of a grant because they know that yeah, not everyone's going to pay it back. So. But what is, what are the conditions that it's, you have to pay it back within 30 years, right? And then after that, it's like, it's written. Then it's written off. Right right yeah. Right yeah. But also they chase you, they chased you a lot. So I just remember like, I remember this was, this is what actually ruined me. Like in terms of like finances. So obviously like before going to uni, I used to think like students had so much money. Mm. Like I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't, but I didn't really know about like student loan or anything like that. But I always thought like the student life because I think also because I was quite like in a confined house. Like I I grew up like quite with strict mm. parents and stuff. So I used to think like you get to uni, like you get so much money because the government gives you this money. Because in Wales, like when my sister oh. was in, in college, they had like this EMA thing where you get paid like thirty pounds a week just for going if they you had hundred percent attendance, well. did they? they? Had that here as well. And in Wales, okay. like yeah, you get a think. grant automatically if you when you go to uni. So my Melissa, like she 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 like um, benefited from that what in her first year. Week? No, like a grant, like a oh, like a grant, a just just because of the Welsh something something. Um, but <laughs> so obviously I thought like you get to uni, you get so much money. So I remember like getting the student finance thing, and then you see how much you would get paid, and then there was the maintenance grant, but. This is going to sound so but I actually didn't know what maintenance grant was. So then, like, the student... Don't look at me like that, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> so the student loan came Sorry. in. student loan came in, and I got so excited. Like, I've never had so much money in my account in one time. Not knowing that. Girl, that has to last you, like, <laughs> three months. That's it. That's and then, it. Yeah, no, and three, then three months, three months until you the next the installment. Sum, yeah. And then on that last day, you're thinking... It's nothing. That I, I, no, but, yeah. okay, so that came in, right? The first the first one came in. I think I blew it in, like, the first two weeks. I bought so many clothes. What for? I don't know. Because I was thinking, cheer. yeah, like, I'm going to need this cheer stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Join the cheer team. Bought all the merch, the bags, everything. This, I remember paying, like, £120, or something like that, in one no, on, on the cheer website. I was like, what do I actually need? So obviously all that money like left my account, but I was looking at my documents and it was like, oh, maintenance loans came in like maybe like three weeks later. I thought that that was coming to me. I didn't see, get it. but it goes to the uni. It just that's just oh, yeah, yeah. that's just the, the yeah. amount that goes to uni to pay you for your course. You don't see yeah, that, yeah. yeah. It goes. In I and thought out. that came to me, so I was spending money thinking, oh, don't worry, You're that's coming. Money you didn't have. Yeah, I was thinking that uh. was the next. I'm getting paid in like two weeks anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna be fine because two thousand, two thousand, whatever is coming in later anyway. So obviously I called Chini Fan and like, um, excuse me, I didn't That's see this. <laughs> well, you phoned them up like on an aggressive one, like, where's my money? Oh my God. <laughs> she called them like, I can imagine the phone call. Like, they were like, uh, they were like no, excuse me, like, <laughs> they were literally like, that goes to your uni, dumbass. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, what am I so supposed I'm to do now? <laughs> I'm just gonna eat bread. Class you gotta eat all them clothes. Classes hadn't even Chilly started. Like it was they so bad. It. Nothing. No, babe. the money's gone. I was I had I had abused it. I even went to get my makeup done in Mac. Oh what my for? God. 
Thank God my student loan didn't drop for it. So you lived like a king for a week. I lived, mate, one weekend. Class hadn't even started yet. And I was like, what the heck am I actually going to do? I haven't done any groceries what? shopping. Like, Because I just had like milk and cereal that my mum bought for me like on this, on this that the day that I moved in. Wait, I want to know what this food process is. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's still really wait, 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 wait. Wait, So I'm you know you're lie. on your ones now. Was you was you living with people? How I was living. People? In, I was with living with like four people. people. Remember, yeah. I was okay, in so first four year. People. I was in first year, and they were third years. Okay, so yeah. are they, is there that the one that's the cook and the one? No, that, they nah? didn't like me. So you're cooking for yourself. Yeah. You know that straight away. Yeah. Also, I didn't know how to cook. Right. Okay. So you put all that in yeah. mind straight away. <laughs> None and of I'm, it came to my head until you, I looked you're, like you're, you're leaving the house. Wait, do, have you lived in that house your whole life? Huh? You yeah, really? yeah. You're leaving yeah. the house. You've, you're literally <laughs> flying from the nest now. Yep. And, and I you go, I'm it. spending all my money on clothes. <laughs> this is so How? heartbreaking. You see people like you, yeah? Back in like caveman days, <laughs> they'd die. Straight away. Yeah, straight, straight away. There's no straight away. Absolutely. They're the ones that sit in the cave all day waiting for the food to appear. They're like, <laughs> what do where's, you do? where's oh, the plants? But they've put, they've, they've put no seeds in the ground <laughs> and they're just waiting and for I, a plant. My problem was even different. They didn't even want to give me my student loan. Oh my God. My I parents, wish that my was my problem. My parents lived in Nigeria and it was a myth. Like, Was you was you more wise with your money and like managing it? Let's, let's first because week. Uh, let's, what were your first? I did not get my now? student loan anyway for a long time. What, what so I mean? didn't have the student How was loan. My, my parents just paid my yeah, rent and gave money for food, and that was oh, it. Everything. But otherwise, was you rationing that money? Because you, you would, if your money, if your parents giving you money. Yeah, because it was like, like yeah, but some people think like like my choice yeah. to ration. Like it was like, how much is your rent? This much. Okay, here's money for your rent, and yeah. then here's the money for this. So I'm, that I'm was so everyone else who starts uni, their thing is right. Cleaning clothes is a bit mad. Maybe I've never cleaned my clothes before. Cooking, making friends. What was on your list of priorities for you've just Who are you first asking? Me. You. My first week of uni, my priorities were what's going on? What events are there? Yeah. <laughs> like I heard everywhere I heard like there were so many parties. Obviously, like I'd never been, like I didn't go out, I didn't go to these things. So like for me, like now I'm at uni, it was just this whole typical you like you, get, you just I just wanted to see what this Mine whole was so situation was. I was too weird for all of that. <laughs> I did yeah, not did care. Get, I did, did not it. care. Like, like when when I first got to uni, I, I lived in this like really, 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 oh, really for one house. night. First of all, was it that? Yeah, and I was gonna get to that. But before I got to Anastasia House, I lived in two different places. Remember, for one night, I went. I, w- I went to uni like ooh, and you know how Angela Russell they were like you're on the waiting list for yeah. ages. Oh yeah, you had I was, on the, I was on the waiting yes. list for a long oh, time. Really for what? Accommodation. Yeah, accommodation. Oh, so I was yeah. like, like my parents were like, just go and find somewhere. I found somewhere. Got there and then, like, I slept there for one night. It was a disgusting tiny box room. It was overpriced. It was a half an hour walk to uni, and they told me that I couldn't cook anything but halal meat and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I was like, bye, I'm out. Like, I thank God everyone was supposed to. So I went to uni, nah. and they said, oh, yeah, so we're holding people in Travel Lodge, and like, for a month, it's like 400 pounds to stay in Travel Lodge. So that was like, I wish nothing. I did that. And, like, and like, they ran out of like all the single and double rooms. They gave me a king size yeah. room. <laughs> Cause hey, I got like for the same price, bit. yeah, for yeah. four hundred pounds. Yeah. But it was good until a certain point. It was like really bad. Anyway, in the end, wait, I wait, wait, how how can a king size room go bad? Well, because you can't cook. You're like, living yeah. in a hotel. You have to eat out every day. Oh, yeah. There's no like breakfast or whatever. You People guys had orange juice complain. or something. I remember you talking about. Oh, that. It was disgusting. And I met <laughs> so I met like this one girl who was was she on my course? So she was. She was friends with someone who was on my course. Mm-hmm. And then she brought someone else in. And then one day I go to uni and she's wearing my clothes. Nah, nah. That was actually that a whole was deep, new but thing. Anyway, but like, yeah. let's, let's not go that far. But yeah, let's just come back. No, because I'm not that. I don't really mean she was too nice. Yeah. I was just like. <laughs> I bet you told her she looked I nice. I feel like I was more. No, I was just like, can you, nice go take it off? can you go take it off? But anyway. Yeah, that's just the like, whole. So that's in that in that bad. first like few weeks of uni, I was dealing with that stress. So that's it wasn't really as stressful. Well, though, that whole aspect of you're with these people that are just Yeah, who would these people? Easily could be completely different from you. Yeah. Because even if yeah. even in school, every, you know, you're not you might not be in someone's group, but you're from the same area, you yeah. must have to relate to. That whole aspect of just someone being from a complete mm. they, they live in a bubble from yeah. they know oh. nothing about you. You don't know people's <gasps> values, you don't oh. know people's thoughts and yeah. stuff like that. You just forced to be together you just think like wait of these people i'm actually having to find my kind of personal no, but like being friends crazy. with those people because there like, was that one person that went to secondary remember do you know that guy that went to secondary oh, yeah. school with and he was he so, became yeah. such a cocaine addict or yeah. whatever something crazy and then he Jeez. didn't even like it was it was bad so that's yeah. someone that i could relate to well, but, but then he just went left <laughs> before, what? The, before what? the cook yeah. right <laughs> right okay no but he's like he went left like yeah okay anyway moving on <laughs> so guys 
Yeah, but I just want to make it clear that my, my purpose wasn't a good partying, all right? I just <laughs> thought, I was all I've heard from this conversation is you arrived, just splashed on clothes. You found Stress. the most no accommodation. was a cocaine man. And no accommodation. So you two are What was stunning. yours? What like, was yours? Man was calm. I what turned, does that uh, mean? I saved... I, do you know what? I probably was a bit of a cheapskate, to be honest. I saved all my money up and was very like, I'm just going to buy Tesco's over and everything. I got to a point where <laughs> I, I didn't want to spend like money so much. I was cooking potatoes in pasta sauce. Oh my god, Ew, uh, go yeah, take a break over there and then come back. I don't know what the I heck feel like we did worse at some point. Bro. We learned from our mistakes. Oh my god! <laughs> but you've done that. No, me and Boomy, right? That we would right. actually, because the thing is that the thing is that my I love about came first. At some point. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah we fast fine. forward. Yeah. I, I, I pray that no like, one watching this makes it to the point where you're cooking <laughs> potatoes and pasta sauce. Do you know what the bad thing is? I had money to not do that. But I was like, do you know what? I'm going to keep that money in the account. Because you're from Gravesend. Like, as if I was going to be like on an island without any resources. I could have just gone Tesco and got some Tesco's pasta sauce. It wasn't. Oh, yeah, the better quality pasta sauce. Oh, no, No, Tesco's. The Tesco brand was luxury to me at some point, so. (laughs) No, but the thing is, I saved us. We lived, like, uni was like, you could look out your window, uni's there, like. And then we would live basically in town, right? So we would always, like, we would just walk to town, whatever. So there were literally times where we had, like, we'd have to, like, (laughs) how much do you have? Oh, yeah, I've got, like, like, 72 p. Yes, we can buy bread. That was (laughs) me in school. We can, like, buy bread. But we'd still go out, though. We'd still go out. We'd, like, walk to town. town, And then we'd, like, free before 11 p.m. Yep, we're there. Oh, my God. Like, let's hold our hands through this. Because this is the most shameful thing that we've ever said. But we used to, like, drink people. What? You used to what? You used to drink what? No, 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 say it. No, 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 you've started. You've started, you must finish. You've started, you must finish. No, let's just skip that. No, 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 we're not rewinding. No, 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 so we'd go to this <laughs> accommodation and just look for drinks on top of the fridge. Yep. <laughs> and then just drink. Wait, in people's houses? Yep. But it wasn't really in people's houses. because It was our block, block, right? It's the same block. It's, same block. it's just it's a just different, different floor. floor. <laughs> and it's just that like we just know someone that lives on the floor. Yeah. And oh my God, it's actually mad. It'll be like that. Arab <gasps> people, they drink, you know? They do. They drink and they have money to buy all types of alcohol. So, so we, you know we what? get a bit of, a bit of um, what's that What's that drink that tastes a bit like licorice? Sambuca. Oh, and I hate it. Sambuca thing. Yeah, but it was Jägermeister, there was a bit of that And left. they never wash their dishes, but it's fine. Yeah, just that drink was disgusting. But still, we didn't come for the dishes. We came for the drinks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're Why do you saying. look disgusted? I feel like our uni experiences were different. Well, then that's then yeah, yeah, well. I didn't do Brighton. I didn't do the whole. <laughs> I didn't go to Brighton. Oh. Where did you go to? I went to Chichester. What's that's that? not even better. What's that? Even, I, I should have just said I was at Brighton. <laughs> I should have just said that I was at Brighton. Yeah, Brighton's a I was at Chichester. Yeah, it was dead. Sorry, Jacob. It was there, but I didn't do the whole stealing drinks for pre. You Actually, know what, I kind of did. It was free. It was free. Yeah. You're not so supposed like, to be. If you're Muslim, you shouldn't be drinking anyway. Yeah, so let me think take about it off it. you. Yeah, you're okay. helping them. Stealing for pre drinks isn't that bad, thinking about it. It's not, but it's just. It, it is, I mean, That's, I way, think it's quite deep. It's, a bit, it's mm. the same thing as going to a house party and leaving with the But also, yeah, no one knows you're there, first of all. Wait, if I go to a house party, no one invited you, no one knows you're there, no one knows you're drinking their drink. Yeah, so who are you? We've never done that. It's like a house party, but not. So who are you? Anyway, imagine waking up the next day like, excuse me, who the fuck drank my drink? <laughs> I, I, turned, I turned up to a party one time with Ben. Oh I went my to, God. So one time, Ben, <laughs> before Cindy, was chatting to this girl. Who? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even like what it that much. Oh, this is a bit deep, to be honest. Oh. And if you're watching I, this, yeah. Sorry. Well, had, this was the 2012, yeah. I had, okay, I yeah, 2012. I'd, I'd been stopped from going to them parties because we used to go to a house and fuck it up. So I was banned How? from that. Wait, tell us one story. That's what another that story. Mean? So that's, that's another story. <laughs> ben is now chatting to this girl. He's like, oh, this girl's having a party. Wait, let me see. Like, oh, I used to go to them parties. What? I can't go to the. I've not been invited to this one. So he was like, can I bring a friend? And she's like, yeah. Didn't tell her. Didn't tell her it was me. And we turn up. But you knew her? Yeah. Oh, this okay. is the go- I used to go to a party. Oh, okay. Yeah. And me and my friends went. We used to, get, used to get messy. And then one time we just fucked up the house. It was a bit oh, mad. Oh, my God. So now we're not allowed in the house. <laughs> he's chatting to the girl now. She's having a party. He shows me, and I'm like, "Oh, I know this girl." He goes, "Can I bring a plus one?" Doesn't tell her who it is, and it's me. Mm. We turned up to the house. We knocked to the mm. door. She opened the door. And she went, "What the fuck are you doing?" Oh, oh shit, Jacob! What kind of 
invitation do you have when we fucking yes, at the, the front hell? door? What the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh shit. We went in still and we had a party. You know? It was a good <laughs> it was time. A, and it was, <laughs> it was a good party. It was a good party. Wow. I mean, it wasn't a good party, but we had a good time. <laughs> was, what's like the biggest, this is like a random question, but what's like the biggest lesson that you, lesson that you learned from your uni? So many. <laughs> what's the biggest? Whatever I, it was, it wasn't I, from my I have lectures. to think. No, nah, mine was not from my lectures. Oh, God, no. Girl, oh, no. Nah. I could tell you two things. That from my le- only thing is, the only thing that I feel like with uni was difficult was like people have different learning, learning like methods. methods. Mm-hmm. So it's really hard to just, and I used to have like three hour long lectures. Like how the heck am I supposed to absorb all this information? Go back. And that was it for the week. Like my one, my one module was three, three hours in one day and I'd have like lectures five days a week. And it's just like, at what point am I supposed to process all this information? And just, so that was, that was definitely not from that. I feel like it was more just like, I don't know. I you actually, you actually do discover it. yourself in that sense of like, as like, I feel like you definitely become you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I can see a difference between me before uni and me Massively. during and post uni. I feel like I care less now. Like some yeah. 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 There yeah. are people who stay the same, man. Don't Second, get me wrong. There no, are people who stay the same. Yeah. That means and like I think you were flourishing in secondary school. You know, nah, school, nah, it, it, I think you the just. Devil, it's, like, it's like the devil's playground. Like, secondary school is like, like harsh. Like, secondary school is harsh. Yeah. Like, you get bullied. People have no filter. And then you progress from there to college. And then from oh, college. Oh, I hate college. When A-level like, was too hard. Like, who asked you to make no, it this hard? And then you go to uni. Like, so, uni's like, I'm free. But the people who didn't change at uni, do you think they were already themselves, so that's good, and then they went to uni? Or do you think... They just stayed there's in their no bubble. There's no way you won't change. I feel like they just yeah. stayed in their bubble. There's no, no way. No, I think there are people are that just didn't really? change. There's and no I feel way. like it's, it's, it's a case of like not taking advantage of that experience. Because how can mm. you be thrown in such a different environment and, 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 come, out, and come out the same? same. Like, so you didn't, you didn't Maybe they got put yourself out of it, but yeah. you can't even notice. But, think, but yeah. imagine things Much like, like but you know like people that go to uni with the same friends. It's like they know the same people that go into that uni. Like for me, it's like... I feel like you're ruining the experience. You're putting yourself in the... If you're going to uni, you have to go in there once. You have to go in there once and not know anyone there yeah. I think it's the same as people a bit of a different one I think it's the same as people go and do like the holiday you, thing yeah. you know people go and work abroad and that mm. I think if you're going to go do that do it on your own just go it's the same thing you'll get the same experience there. as starting mm. uni yeah. but people go and work abroad and like oh me and my friends are going to go work abroad yeah, it's not the, it's not going to be the same, same. Oh. you're not yeah. going to develop yeah. you're not. Gonna, you're just going to be there partying with your friends Yeah. I feel like you have to be taken out of that comp zone and you sort of break yourself you break yourself down when you're in your ones and then you can remold yourself yeah True. And it's interesting to know like like what you left behind or like the things that you learned. Because I feel like for me it was more just like, why the heck did I care so much? Like about but what? Just any like why did I care about what people would have thought? Mm. Or like mm. it was more like trying to live up to something that wasn't even real. Like it was it was almost like a an idea of things, like an idea of how you're supposed to be Your priorities changed. Yeah, like an idea of how like yeah, an idea of like, you know, this is how you're supposed to be because you're at uni. This is how you're supposed to think because you're at mm. uni. When in fact it was just just live, like just go. If you want to do that, you do. If you don't want to do it, don't, don't do, it. do it. As opposed to like, oh, this is what people say you're supposed to do, kind of thing. Like all these parties, and it's just like I don't enjoy these parties. Like I don't want to go to these Jones. things. I don't want to be around you guys. Jones. Like you have to buy Jones. 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 Oh my god, you need parties. Are just stop. And, like, I think. and it's always They're always so crap. Remember the other one we went, the day we were doing our Which hair. One? We took our hair out. We went to that that accommodation oh, in uni. And we were adorable. just like, it's just a party. <laughs> Actually, you know, party, like, it was so awkward. The boys were like there. Yeah, because, the girls were And I felt like, like what, what, why am I here? Like, Honestly. Why am and I And the thing here? is, well, because like, I feel like we became friends because we just thought the same thing all the time. Like, yep. the first time me and Pulumi actually met. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, can you look after my phone? Was it my phone? The I was child, tra- you looking up on your charger oh, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Or and something. then she went to the toilet. And then we was, there was like some ACS event thing on that same mm. night. And I remember, like, I, I came with, like, I, I paid £70 for my braids. I didn't go, Those skinny-ass braids. Then we did. We went to that ACS opening thing, and then my braids were falling out. And then... Oh, my God, face, the like, party! It was, like... Yeah. yeah. Okay, Girl, listen. you better leave yeah, that out. It was, like, some people that were making me come. Yeah. Because I'm afraid... You, was, you were I living was, with them, right? You'd see me by myself yeah. a lot. Do you Wait, know what? why? Do you know what gave me confidence as well? We're just, do, you know, do you know why? Do you know why I was so confident to be by myself? Yeah. Because basically, like, I already knew Pamela because Pam- Pamela was weird. Me? So before uni, I was just chilling with Pamela, you yeah. know? Like, so I feel like 
Yeah. And if she wasn't there, I would do things by myself anyway. Mm. So when I went to uni, I was fine doing things by myself. Like when I met you, I was sitting by myself yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like I didn't find it weird at all. That is weird. I feel like Just because you don't, don't think it's like, weird. No, I don't, you're think, by it's weird. I don't think it's weird at all. I, like I, I appreciate weird. that more now, like yeah. coming out of it. Because I feel like for me, I went in thinking I want to make friends and I should be making friends. So it was more like a going towards people as opposed to just being like, wait, are you oh, actually yeah. okay by yourself? Because you can actually go to these things and be by yourself and it's fine. Right. But yeah, like we went to this event. Yeah, oh my God. And then like my braids, like I must have had them for like two weeks, but they started falling out. Like, so I had like one that fell out. And I went I went with a friend that, well, a friend that I had made like mm-hmm. within those first two weeks. And then Pulumi as well. And then like, I remember like it was me, Pulumi and that girl. And then my braid fell out. And the girl was just so embarrassed. She was so like, embarrassed. And we were so, dying. We were laughing, this is like one like, of the first yeah. of us to bond yeah. together actually. That's true. We were actually dying. Like, I found it hilarious. Yeah. I was like, like, why and is then we're the kicking <laughs> And it's mine. And it's in like, a club, by the way. Yeah. But this girl was embarrassed. The girl was so embarrassed. And the thing yeah. is, well, like, we'd move somewhere else. And the break would still be there. We were like, why is it following me? Like, we are probably dying. <laughs> and this was at that point that I was like, I don't want to be with you. Because you're like, I want to be with like, her. Like, yeah. The one who's laughing at you said I was feeling like, awkward yeah. about yeah. the situation. Yeah, that was it's just a braid. Like, they it's know. It's like, yeah. you know it's Everyone right. in here knows what know. this is. But remember that time there was a braid at uni. You were like, yeah, no. <laughs> Before it was yours again, was it yours? It was mine. Oh my god! But only saw a braid in some random place at uni. She's like, "Cindy, is this yours?" And I was like, "Oh my god, it is mine." I was like, "How did you recognize Where? my braid?" Where was it? Well, like, I didn't realize it was some yeah, corridor. Yeah, some corridor. Like, oh, uni, uni was like massive. But it was there because of cheer. Like we had like that cheer thing. They had, they had cheer. Cindy was like, oh, but Cindy was a cheerleader and all these things, and she had all these friends. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> all these like, oh yeah, things. And I was just there, like, oh yeah, things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to have my chair, girls. Like, ah! Yeah, it's and true. Just like, okay. Yeah, actually, it's true, though. We'd have, like, bake sales at uni. Like, yeah. In the middle of uni. we just do, like... Th- and now I'm looking back, I'm like, ew. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's I'm just saying, like, oh, come on. <laughs> but it was fun. But it works, though. It does. Yeah, yeah, it does, definitely like, build you. Yeah, I don't know. I, going back to the question, I actually don't know oh, why. Yeah, I whoa, we went far. I would... Um, I don't know, just... I can't even say it at the moment. I feel like it's a good experience, but I feel like it shouldn't have been like you don't really go to uni. Like technically, we don't go to uni to like learn life. I guess you go to like to get a degree, like the essential purpose. Yeah, of uni, but how but many people actually want? Yeah, to get that's a the degree. thing, and that's I feel like it was all. It was always just like because you're supposed to go to uni. Most of us went to uni because coming out of it, I was just like, mm. like you look at other people that they still like people that haven't got. Because I was I was thinking about Maya Jama because she didn't go to uni and she's our age, and so I was like, girl, Maya Jama, f- our age. Yeah. Oh, your age. No, so she's actually, I think she's younger than me. She, I think she's a year younger than me. Like she's 24, yeah. Is she? Yeah, and Let I was thinking, check. like, the four years that <clears throat> she spent, 25, okay, so she's my age. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, she's, yeah, like, our age. <laughs> so there's she's the years, 38. No, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> the years that we spent at uni. So, like, if someone close to, we all go to uni with, okay, this is my academic goals or whatever, but <laughs> there's always that back, you know, back of your head, like, I wish I was doing this kind of thing. Mm. Well, for me, it was anyway. But imagine, like, someone that had the same aspirations as Maya Jama, let's say. Like, and she, the four years that we spent, four, what, three, four years that you spent at uni, she spent, like, grafting, grafting doing, doing all this thing. And she actually on the right say, path already. Do you know what so I mean? Like, and it's almost like a setback. Yeah. Because uni might not be the route that you need to take for you to get no, to that 100%. stage. Like, I think we're all so, sold that line when you come out yeah. of uni. When you, you go to uni. You have to start from zero. So when you go to uni, you're thinking, I'm doing some sort of fast track where... I'm gonna learn all this I'm shit. I'm coming to in level seven years. already. I'm like, gonna come out. Especially of, coming out of. Eight I'm gonna come out of them for years, and I'm gonna be exact place that I want that I need to be. In. Need to and be. that's not true. You and I've learned all this because you you're probably actually skills. better off doing something, getting yeah, work experience in the area that you so want true. to be. Yeah. Because really someone, if if an employer looks at someone who's done three years work experience and three years just studying about, it's like yeah. if, if someone says to you they have spent three years reading about swimming but doing no swimming, yeah. And someone else has spent three years swimming. Who you who you gonna put on your team? The person who's gonna be better anyway. Yeah. Just looking at it, yeah. like when you come out, like you had people. I know people that went to do apprenticeships instead, and all these things. And now they they'll be working in like top five firms and yeah. stuff. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's different you, experience that you learn yeah, as well. It's, it's actual skills, yeah, skills that are transferable. And at uni, you're just literally sat there figuring out for yourself. No stuff. guidance. No, you don't even know if it's right or wrong until you get your results back. And like, oh, no that didn't sense. work. Well, there's a year gone. Like. It's literally, it's it's actually more detrimental. But there's pros and cons of both, because like we were saying earlier, there's that whole, you're a different person before you go in. Yeah, I feel you, like... You become a different person when you 
when you, you come yeah. out. Yeah. You've learned the whole sort of living the away from home. You, These people, they might be smashing ahead. it in their job and you might be thinking, fuck, I should have done what they're doing. But, but they at the same time, they never moved out. Yeah. They don't, they're they still that same person. Yeah, they yeah, only know their little bubble, thing. they're yeah. the same friends still. They haven't really expanded their mind in terms of people yeah, in life. Yeah, you just know what How you know. would you reframe it then? Like, would you like send people to this camp thing for like a That's few sounding years. bad. Or like, or like say to them, okay, it's time for you, you're now 18 or whatever, camps. instead of going to uni, Have live with random experience. people and like live outside of your family home and then, but still chase what you want to chase. Like, I, I feel like if I had the choice now, like I didn't really gain much from uni. Even though I'm working with my degree now, I wouldn't really, I feel like I wasted my time. I think time. it should be more of but a... I don't regret you could have learned that time. otherwise. Like, yeah. Like, you could have yeah, learned that without have, having to go to Instead of doing it just, you're going to sit and learn about it, it should be, how to, okay, you can learn about this. Now go away and do it. Mm. Now come back and learn the next bit. Now go but away and do it. You could, have, that, you, could have spent, you could have spent that time that you spent at uni in your firm and you would have been a lot higher, I reckon. Bruh, exactly. Imagine yeah, four exactly. years that you're spending, even if you start as an yep. intern, as a paper, like as a filing assistant mm-hmm. or whatever, like you, could, you, you would have been you way higher yeah. because of like the, the, the experiences that companies appreciate mm. are what you would have learned because on you the know job. It. Like, yeah. Because like, you're not sitting in an office being tested. Do you, it's not that I anymore. remember like we did yeah. like so much Excel stuff at, um, at, at uni and we even did like statistics exams mm. and stuff, like crazy things at uni. Like how did I pass cramming? I crammed it. Yeah, just so cramming, when I got yeah. into, like, when I f- got like a proper job, and I'm like, what is this? Like, what is Excel? But like, I'm so like, I did it at uni yeah, and I passed yeah, my exam. You, but you do still it. don't yeah. know because you don't, at that stage, you don't value those things. Yeah. And like, you don't even care for it. It's just cramming. And no one's teaching you how to like learn something. It's more like, this is what you need to do in order yeah. to pass. So learn how to do this thing. But then it's like, how do I apply this? If someone was to ask me how to do like, you know, take it from a different angle, mm. would I be able to do that? It's just like... People talk about that as well as like having... um. So employers will get you because you've got a degree because you have a student mentality. And they used and now to come you know as well. How to learn. I think that's bullshit. They actually used to come to yeah. our unis oh, and really? have those stupid fairs. Oh, yeah. And we'll be like, excuse me, so this is this is this is our job description of graduate scheme of people that we're looking for and the pay is 40k go give me my 40k now and then you get out and then that. the same company giving me 18,000 mate so what, what, what are we supposed to do about it <laughs> what am I actually supposed to like, do with yeah, this like, well, no, first, <laughs> who are those people first of all where was that woman that I spoke to Honestly, at that fair she's still working here because you <laughs> lied <laughs> <laughs> she needs to come and look at my face. I think that's not the salary. Should have taken that number. <laughs> yeah, I should have taken that number. <laughs> but can you just? Uh, that's why I hate this well because I feel like the biggest deception when you come out of uni is that you're gonna like. Because I feel like I do believe it. I do believe that it works for some people. I do believe yeah, like, I and I've it seen it. I've seen people, it. Actually, but it's just that's... like let's let's just address the majority because it doesn't. And you come out of uni with this sort of entitlement like you just have this like oh this is my degree so give me my job because you need me you need me no one cares no one cares you're starting at the bottom like girl that's not it like it is not working like that like where's my start like i genuinely thought like starting salary was like 35k like starting salary average like (laughs) i was thinking like now even then i was thinking like okay that's maybe not that much like that's maybe like not enough kind of that's thing. That's like, uh, that's kind of like, rubbish. okay, like I can pay off I my did, stuff. I did not like, yourself being, mm, yeah, like, jackets, with my, yeah, yeah, literally with my spending habits and my impulsivity, like, whatever, like, and it just didn't make any sense for me because I was like, wait, this job, this job doesn't pay enough. This job doesn't pay enough. I'm like, wait, I need to go to that as a job. But it's like, why is Oh my God, they're also like, five years experience. experience. Yeah, like, why is it not have these experience. skills? Yeah, it's actually Oh my crazy. God, oh my God, oh my God. Another good one is like, when, you, when you're like looking for jobs as well and they're like, two years experience. <laughs> At least minimum two years experience, and they ask for all these things like, yeah. excuse me, I was at uni, I didn't have time. Exactly. To what am I supposed to get two? You're sort of made from? to feel like because I've been at uni, it's I've enough, it. and the uni <laughs> but, counts as experience, say, and it really doesn't. Say, like, it really doesn't. Two years experience. Yeah, it's like, and well, I'm supposed to be 27. Salary. Yeah, I'm supposed to be 27 by the time I apply for a job <laughs> when I'm coming out of uni, I'm like freaking 21 because I need this. How many? And also, like, it's if you're not giving me that experience, where am I supposed to get it from? Mm. Like, yeah. where am I supposed to have nobody got really gathered this information when you don't want me because I don't have experience? No, yeah. So, what does that actually mean? Like, yeah. it's so frustrating. And you're just like, well, I guess I'm just gonna go work in a clinic to wash bums. Like, so what's the hmm? uh-huh. <laughs> formula? It's just okay. Shout out to V. <laughs> I think the point of uni is Woo! to get you ready. 
the point of it is to get you ready. It doesn't. Um, look, life isn't like uni. Yeah, bro. no. Life is nothing like uni. I feel like life is like. So what? What could like uni? Is. What could uni do then to make you ready? Experience, give you actual experience. I feel like they should be Practical like job, experience. like job. Um, what would you call so it? So like, like what I was saying earlier, where you learn and then go do it and then learn. Not even or? just not like because there's placement years. I feel like exactly, that's what I was going to oh say. God, I feel like placement you years. can do placements. I had, I had. Remember when we had like some of like a few of us like from like business school because mm-hmm. I don't want to give people's name. I don't want yeah. to give names again. But um, we got like um, this. We actually worked hard for it, but we got internship. Oh, yeah, Do you remember that summer yeah, we had to stay yeah, yeah. and they were paying us two fifty a week? I feel like that was a lot. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't have been back then. Like, two fifty a week, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I wasn't. Doing, I was working like two days a week. I was yeah. doing nothing. I remember that. And I feel like that gave me like, oh, okay, like. Ooh. And you actually know, like, what would it's I be not, doing on a daily basis if was I was to work trying to give in this environment? Yeah. Like they in in the company, they babied us. Like me and this, me and my this other guy though like they babied us like I felt like it was a grant from the government that they were given the 250 was probably like not from the company yeah just, they, they didn't make us do people, anything yeah. really two days a week and it was tax free so you felt like you were rich like then so imagine what like it's like false hope yeah it's not really yeah it's not like really how it's gonna be in real life yeah but I feel like because you know like I think with like nurses and stuff they have like three days of study two days on, on like in the hospital that makes sense like those things, things like that good. it makes sense because this is what you're learning this is how you apply this is what you're learning this is what you don't apply mm-hmm. or like and you're you're in a like a real life situation or even just like mock versions of those mm-hmm. things and like because that's how doctors learn and stuff like that because you're not just going to go to med school read 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 all oh, right what my tech operate also another you know important I mean? like, thing of that is when you're in the hospital you're not just seeing okay so i've studied to be a nurse, and I'm a nurse but yeah but also oh what what does this person do in yeah. The hospital? yeah maybe i could do that instead yeah. of my degree what, yeah. what did you do get? You i felt like not all of the options were explored while i was at uni. oh my god it no was pretty way. much just a case of this yeah. degree gets you this job mm-hmm. and if you don't get it you're fucked yeah whereas i'm, like, I'm sure they really and truly they can look at they can look at yeah. your experience say well you've sort of done this you've sort of done that apply it in this way and we'll give you extra skills mm. but there was none of that oh yeah they made it seem like they were because you know those like guy those count those like um job people oh, like yeah, yeah but they were hard. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. They and chat it was so hard shit. to even get like like actual stuff from them and i just didn't like go into I, I think i went there like once and i was just like i don't even know what the heck i'm doing here. i feel like they didn't even know no they didn't even like know a, you, they go to you oh so what are you studying you tell them and then they go, oh, uh, so what are you interested in? You tell them, and they go, help you with my uh, and I did get jobs. You didn't get <laughs> I did. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Well, it might work. It helps, That's the thing, though. Like, like, yeah. I think with CV writing as well, like, it's also, like, there's some things that you don't think about that could look good or, like, you know, the formatting and stuff like that, that obviously helps. But I just feel like I didn't, because for me, like, my parents really wanted me to go into medicine and stuff like that. So I, I knew that I didn't want to be a doctor. Like, <laughs> I just don't want to do mm. medicine. And I knew that. And I was like, okay, like, what can I take away from what I enjoy about, like, science and biology? But still, I don't want to be a doctor, but I still want to do something. I genuinely just thought, like, and I, I, th- I remember just coming across randomly biomedical science, and I was like, oh, this is more what I like, because it's, like, the theoretical side of things. I don't have to practically go and, like, work on patients. I was like, amazing, like, studied that. But then I was like, oh, my God, like, when I leave, what the heck do I want to do? I don't want to just... Because then I found that it was more, like, like lab work, like, lab-based work right, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I remember getting into like genetic counseling because it was mentioned in one of my genetic modules. So it wasn't even, it was almost like I was kind of distorted going through because it's, like, you're trying to just like find, like find your way out of this weird, like foggy illusion of what it's, it's going to be like. And you have no idea, like, do I, do I base it on if I want to earn this amount of money or do I base it on what do I enjoy? Because sometimes what you enjoy isn't really what's going to feed mm-hmm. you. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it might not be, sometimes, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't really add up. And then it's just like, Who's actually guiding us? Because we're all studying this thing. And then what? Then you're just on your one. And then we're all going to yeah. apply for the same job because not all of us are going to get it. Like, <laughs> is this the only path? What else can I explore? Like, it's just like, there was no guidance. There. And we're all still kids. Like, I look at my little sister. I'm like, how the heck are you in third year? Like, I felt so grown out. at uni as well. I thought even I in first so year, grown, even in first yeah. year, I turned up in a full year. I'm a man. Some now. people were actually like people. Those people were homesick. I, I never got homesick. Without realizing, I wasn't homesick. I don't think that's anything to do with maturity. Though. I was fine. Um, yes. I, mm, I don't know. It could, yeah, it kind of is. Mm-hmm. Well, being homesick. I think yeah. if you're homesick, you're a bit of a pussy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. She was homesick. You were definitely homesick. She was homesick. You were yeah. definitely homesick. Yeah, you're used to like, you're, you're, yeah, that's yeah, what you're used to. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't anyway. even make sense. <laughs> but yeah. I think that was a thing as well. It's quarter to four. Being homesick? Just not. Home. Okay. Did I say it? Hmm? Okay. 
Well, I'm just giving a, a, a brief update. No, on time. Yeah, thank you. Four, Thanks four for that, Pelini. Um, yeah, that was a good um, chat about you. But one thing I'll say is, if you were looking back at either yourself or talking to someone who's going into uni now, what what would you tell them? I'll just be like, first of all, what do you actually want to do? Find what yeah. Like, and if you don't know, it's always fine. You don't have to do something that, like, you can be unsure and that's fine. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, for me, like, I wanted to go to uni because I didn't know any better. Like, I thought it was well, a must. Was, like, it was yeah. a must, and then. I wouldn't have picked the course that I picked. Like, that's another thing. But I'll just tell them, just just do what you want. Mm. I don't know, man. What about you? It's a really hard. Just do what you want. Yeah. I feel like, um, I feel like it's more... That was a I shit advice, but yeah. No, it wasn't, because I want to branch <laughs> no, off No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. I, I, I get what you're saying. I understand I where just, that I can't comes from. Articulate it, but huh? yeah. No, I want to branch off it, because I feel like... I understand where you're coming from, because it's like a... Like, I feel like... A lot of the reason why we do those things is because of pressures that are, mm. you know, parents and all of this stuff. But it's so hard to now say to somebody who's going into uni, speak to your parents and tell them this is what I want to do. Because those are things that you have to develop, like, True. you know, beforehand. So What have you shown them? Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like, cause I feel like cause yeah. it's only now that I'm understanding, like, my mom would be so happy with me doing anything as long as I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of yeah. people would be like, I'm going to leave uni and just do whatever. No. As long as you've because got a plan, it doesn't matter what the thing. plan is. Yeah, like this is a secure thing. Because I feel like if this was my if my child was coming to me like, I don't want to go to uni, I'd be like, okay, sit down. Why? What do you want to do? How are you going to do it? If not, you're going to uni. If your child is like, constantly like, playing football, duh. If your child is constantly you're like, doing something. If you're not going to uni because you, know. you want to go to, uh, you want to play Xbox all day or you want to do all of this. No, you, no, you will go to uni. If you're PewDiePie, what does he do? If he's like, what? PewDiePie. It's like YouTube, like YouTuber, he's, oh. he's making money. Like, he's making if, money. If, 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 if I saw my child well, is making, doing that, yeah, he's, he's and there's, there's out, like yeah. there's a there's more to it than just this is the arbitrary thing that I'm doing and this is what I want to do. Then I don't really see how I can support you in that. Show me what it is that you want to do because I feel like that's what I would advise my child. Like I wouldn't want to force this on you for you to then resent me for some reason later on because you wasted time. And also, mm. why would I want you to waste your time? Mm. I hope that this is the same one I'm actually having my kids, but like. I would, uh, I would say that it's more just understand what it is you're going to get out of it because that's way more important than you actually going to do it because people go to uni and sleep all day they miss the true. lectures so to what, say that you went lectures? to uni and it's not that hard to get a degree anymore you could come out of uni it's with a so third and you have a degree so lectures. what's that? yeah I don't know how the fuck I got a degree I actually don't know if I can get a degree anyone can get a degree pretty much so it's not about that anymore it's like okay with that degree this is what I'm hoping to do because I want you to tell me I really want to go to uni to get first in this okay fine this is step one because what's, the, what's then the plan? Like, for me, it would just be, like, understand what it is you're wanting. Like, what's the end goal? And what it is, mm. what is it that you're going to do to get to that? But some people haven't got to do I think you touched on a good point as well. Like, it's okay to not be sure. True. That's what I was going to say. I, Come, I, don't, I feel like, like it's not good to have this attitude, which I've, I definitely had, which was, I'm going to come out of uni and everything will be fine. It was like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, I did theology and philosophy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I want to do with my life. I'll go to uni. That will sort it. That will, yeah, fix, that will fix all my problems. I'll out. come out of uni, I'll be fine. Whereas, really, you come out of uni and you're still just like... I'm even more confused like now. Because yeah. I've learned something. I've lived on my own. I'm going back home now. The, that transition Woo! from living on your own to coming back home oh is... Oh my yeah. God, that, that is... That's a whole new conversation. And you're back in your area now. No, but wait. Like, and your friends have just been there the whole time. <laughs> and you've gone away and done something. Yet. You've come back and it's like, yeah. you were there yesterday. Yeah. And really, it's been like three years. And it's so weird. And you're, and you're like, oh, yo, shame, Ben, what you say? And Ben's just there. What have you been doing? Ben said, man's just Same it. thing. <laughs> Ben's still eating that bread. <laughs> no, but you know, that's Pizza weird as well. Like, I found, it, I found it even weirder because like, um, coming from the type of household that I was in, like, like, you know, stereotypically like African upbringing, like parents are like super like, you're going out at this time, you're coming back at this mm. time. We don't really go to like parties. Like even ourselves as a family, we don't go to people's events, stuff like that. So you go to uni and your ha your head is just like, Motive. you've seen all of this stuff. Like there's just yeah. everything going on. And then you're having to go back home where those confines that you weren't even like, you actually I've taken that, them out of my that, head. Oh my God. That, and you come back into wow. uni and come back home and you're having to now live like, it's almost like someone just drags you out. Mine is complex. Like, it's, it's quick as well. Like, yeah. It's quick. That handed in the dissertation, 
and it's summer holiday, but it's not summer holiday. You remember? You can't go get a job now. Yeah. And you're thinking like, oh, I've, got, I've got six weeks. It's like, wait, there's no term afterwards. Yeah. Wait, wait, actually, wait, I can get a job now. Yeah, 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 you literally have to hand in your dissertation oh and then hand God. in your CV yeah. and hope you get some interviews coming. Because yeah. everyone else is doing that. That's actually crazy. Cindy, Cindy says something, it might be like off topic a little bit, but like, you know how you said that, like, you don't go to people's events as a family and mm. all of these things. Whereas for me, like, my parents support everybody. So they might be going to like two or three parties in a day. Oh my God. So I, I think, I don't know. I'm, that's that's like, why maybe, yeah. like, I wasn't really phased at the start. Cause, but then I don't know how. But did long. you find, oh, because I, I feel like for you as well, because your parents didn't, you didn't live in the same house as your yeah, parents. So you already had that. Yeah, there's I didn't even go partying. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't partying with people. I wasn't, yeah. doing, I was just like walking, going swimming with Pamela, like. <laughs> And like go to college. Me and Leisure will just go. Me yeah. and Leisure will go swimming as well. Yeah, but I feel like that's just a, it's it's like but it depends on how you were before going into yeah. uni and stuff like that because okay. that really molds. I, I didn't have a process. restraint. Yeah, the, yeah, you didn't have any like restrictions or anything like that. So the freedom wasn't even as great for you. Because yeah, it's just like you were just, and that's the thing is, because I feel like you're less likely to abuse it because you've had you've had it before. Yeah, and stuff. like oh yeah, that's true. Just jump over fences. Okay. <laughs> Rebellion. Rebellious. I feel like you used to use uni experience has a lot to do with your parents and your parents' expectations. Yeah, of course, yourself. but that's oh, life, yeah. though. Yeah. Really, though. Why? And I think, like, I don't know, I feel, I feel like you can't just say, okay, my parents were, same way I can't just say, mm. my parents weren't strict to me going to uni and having these expectations, so I'm going to do what they say. I feel like you shouldn't have that same sort of, my parents expected me to do it, so everyone's parents expect them to do that. Mm. I think yeah. that there is two separate types of people. There yeah, is the people yeah, that, yeah feel like they have to do what their parents want them to do and the, pa- the people who already feel like they can do what they want. Yeah, no, there are. For sure there are. And I feel like... Because a lot of what you were saying that. is linking back to... Because my mum wanted yeah, to be serious. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. When, when I'm in... Because for us, I'm, that's my that's whole, my experience. This whole conversation like, yeah. we talk about uni, I haven't mentioned my mum once. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Whereas, Whereas us, all, yeah. every time we bring up something, much. you two... And that, yeah, that shows. Yeah. That just shows how it much shows of an impact... They... they Because from, from, from... Do you think that's good or bad though? It's not good. Or does it it's not good. Does it I don't feel like it's good because because one thing that I always like I want to believe for myself is that I will never have my children owe me or like make them feel like yeah. you are living like you are not an extension of me. You are your own person. Yeah. All I'm doing is facilitating your life. I'm making things easier for you. There is no way I would ever expect you to and do that's this how our because of me. Are. And that's and to be honest, I can't fault them because that's what they know. That's that. what they and know. like our generation isn't like us. This this group. We have parents that are from Africa, so it's almost mm-hmm. like it's first hard for us to ex- first yeah. generation. Do you know what I mean? Like it's hard for us to then expect them to have this Westernized and mindset. Do you know what I mean? It's mindset different. So have they have yeah. that. My mum and I understand why she does it now, as I'm growing up even more so because my mind, Wait, my mindset. Is I saw changing. something on Twitter that said, "Mum, I finished uni now, and I'll do whatever you want me to do." <laughs> Did you see that tweet? But mm-hmm. anyway, yeah. My mum even that said to me, like, "No, even we talk about." Yeah, this my mum even said yeah. to me like. No, it was. I told you that. Did you? No, yeah. I saw. Are you seeing Twitter as well? No, I told you. So my mum, my okay, one yeah. of my mum's friends, something like one that. One of my mum's friends' kids finished uni and was like, "Mum, choose what anything I'll do." Okay, with yeah, you. you told me. Yeah, you told me. Mum, choose. And my mum was like, "Wow, how amazing!" I was like, "Girl, no, <laughs> wow. it's not. Wow. It's not. You have no sense of individuality. Really? Like for me, I don't think it's good <laughs> yeah. because of that. Because then mothers have separation issues. Mm-hmm. Kids yeah. have." No, yes. no sense of self because all you do is live for that. There's no, we will you die on this earth by somebody. ourselves. So it doesn't make any sense for me to do this because of f- A, B, C. No. <laughs> and it links back. I don't want to touch Mom, it because I know Pamela's got something to say about it. So I'll let her do that. Yeah. Like that okay. Sort of emotional bullying that mums have over. I even one time. I one time. But I don't want to touch on that too much. No, why? why I'll, I'll touch on it. That's right. I'll touch on okay, it. Okay, all all right. One thing that I'm noticing that like no more because obviously like I feel like I'm so grateful for the upbringing that I've had because I've had both Same, of both course. sides. Like I've had that African upbringing and also like growing up with my mum, growing up in this environment. So I'm seeing how her mm. her sort of like parenting has changed because of her adjusting. And I'm so grateful for her because like it makes you appreciate being the fifth parent child, and, I feel uh, like yeah, mate. obviously I saw <laughs> I'm the transition. middle child. So. I'm the middle child. But like what I was gonna say was like um like it's made me appreciate actually having a relationship and not just hierarchical mother, daughter, yeah. and I will please, I will beg to everything that you say. Because for me, like, that's not how life should work. Also, I'm now at an age, mate, I'm now at an age now where, what were you doing at my age? And also, are you expecting me to still live as a 10-year-old or whatever that you may seem in your head? And not, like, it just didn't make any sense. So I'm now, like, making an effort. I've been making an effort to have a 
more conversation with my mom and stuff like that. And the other day she did something. Mutual bond, like, yeah, and it should be more. I should be able to come to you and say, "Mom, like I really didn't like this," and you know, what you did hurt me. Or please, like you used, yeah. to, you used to do this before, mom, and this is why I get upset at this. Like, and I can now say this to her. And the other day she did something, and I was like, "Mom, that's emotional. That's emotional. Um, what did I say? Abuse. It was emotional abuse." And she was like, "Ah." Emotional abuse, like yes, mom. Emotional abuse because you're using the fact that you're my mother that I should now that should override everything else. Like, do you know what I mean? It would be always like, oh, really, not for your mom. I'm like, no, because I'm tired. <laughs> and also, like oh in this moment, God. I don't want to do it. And please, I'll do it later, but just not right now. And don't be like, okay, not for your mom. I'm like, but that's not fair because do you think that I would ever be like, really, for your daughter? Like, like no, I would never do that. But I can feel like. She's not able to understand that more because someone is yeah. even opening her eyes to it. She might have not known she that that was a thing. But do you feel like you need uh, to bring it back to where we was? Do you feel like one you needed to go to uni to sort of have your eyes open that whoa, this is now that I don't have this, I shouldn't have had it in the first Without place. Uni, actually, yeah. Actually, and two, something. do you feel like it affected your time at uni having had that in the first place? Oh yeah, that hundred percent. That definitely affected my 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 time at uni because. It's almost like you don't have that sort of like wait, yeah. It's not there shoulder. anymore. It's not like a oh my god, is she saw me one? No, I didn't think that because I thought no, I I always knew I wanted to live a more free life. Like in my family, I'm not the rebellious one. Like so for me, it was always like let me just live what I think I want to live. If I don't like it, fine, I'll just go back to what I know. Yeah. But at least being You've able to explore that and you, you experience you, you it, fine. I don't I don't have that. Don't, I don't have way, that. I just felt like, even if I, like... You just did your thing. Yeah, I just did my thing. Mm. I, just just like, I had no at pressure. Mm. And, and on the bench at all. Like, I didn't have any pressure. Of, oh, my God, like... This, it's definitely that. the position that you are in your family. Yeah. And also how much older your siblings but are. But then I felt like it's just, maybe I had that in my head. Because I had some times where, like, my, my family would contact you or, like, Lydia would be like, yeah. excuse me, have you heard from Blimey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually. That's so maybe I was living all of this in yeah. my head as well. Because yeah. I'm just thinking about it now, like... I had so much freedom, but I felt like I didn't know where that freedom ended. Like I just, I just took it all the way. Yeah, because also freedom doesn't mean lock off your parents. Yeah, like, like don't contact anybody. Yeah. You can still be in touch with them. Yeah. Just don't let them yeah. control you. Yeah, you can That's still do thing. what they want. Yeah. You can still do like, what they want, but you just want to do it as well. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just before we continue, is everything, is everything okay? Okay, cool. Use cannon. And another thing as well. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a loose cannon. Did you don't be a captain. Don't be a. Oh, oh, I think you've had enough. Give me sponsored. <laughs> Get wings. Oh my gosh. KFC sponsor me. <laughs> Guys, don't look at my. Oh, it's not on. I'll get it done. Red Bull, week. fly with wings. Red Bull. Wait, can I go for a wee or not? <laughs> can I go for a wee or not? <laughs> That's why. Right. Come look at coming in that outro if you want to. That was a really good conversation. Finish off. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Wait, is it filming still? Is it no. filming still? Oh, we should do a shot. It but it's not filming. Yeah, I feel like we should do okay, shots. Okay, okay. Can we get some yeah, shots filming. in here, please? Oh. <laughs> Can we get a couple of more shots in here? Oi, oi. My name is right. Bill. Okay. Yeah, and like, I'm... This one needs to leave. I know. Trying to wrap up. But yeah, I feel, you feel like I feel like uni was an amazing experience overall. And I feel like I, I wouldn't have been the person I am today without that. Because also like it allows you to think, oh, what else? Like, what else am I into? And I feel like it just refines your your sense of self. And without uni, I wouldn't have had that, I don't think, because I don't know where else I would have gotten. I would have mm -hmm. spent my life searching for what you think you're supposed to get, or you know, this whole like I you I it troubled me, this whole find yourself. I'm like, what does that mean? Like I am me. Me is myself. <laughs> like I was just like, who well, am I trying to find? Who am I finding? Find I'm, okay. I'm already okay. Am I like, so. who found yeah. her? Like, oh, yeah, she, she was here. Like, in Cambridge. She was she here was, all along. She like, for me to, you know, you know that you know that video of um, Jada Pinkett that she Pick was like, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was like she was like she. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It was recent, mm -hmm. and she was like walking around, and she'd enter this body and enter that body and enter this body. Girl, no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, I'll just leave it to continue. Like with a soul saying. snatcher. <laughs> but I think the thing I'll is, don't don't use uni as a this is gonna fix everything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna know what I'm doing when I come out. And if you do come yeah. out and you're struggling to get a job for time, okay, or you go into a job that's dead and you're there and it's a dead end job and you're thinking this isn't what I had planned for myself. It's not the end it's of the fine. world. You're it's still okay. you're still in your twenties. Yeah. You have got the rest of your life ahead yeah. of you. It's fine. And what? someone's looking at you, thinking, "Oh shit, that's fine." Yeah, there's, there's some yeah, young there's, fine. there's some younger in secondary school who's about to start uni, looking at yeah. you, thinking, "Fuck, he's got his life sorted." Yeah. Yeah. But also, 
there's people that are you know whatever age it doesn't matter what age you are you've still got time to it's fix okay. stuff it's okay as long as you never think girl, never you think you're time. just gonna do a one time. thing and then that's gonna solve everything yeah. because nothing happens overnight and another thing is well like i feel like i always try to find learning learning what's the word like like yeah, lessons yeah. from everything that i do like True. if i'm going through something and i'm struggling i'm like like god just please let this be a lesson that I'm now learning, a quality that I'm now adding to myself. Mm-hmm. And nothing will be a waste because I would have gone through this knowing this is not what I want. Now I've set my standard here. Mm-hmm. This is not what I need. I've sent it. This is what I've learned from here. And now I'm going to go with this mindset and go. Because mm-hmm. I feel like I'm only at this place now because of all the stuff that I've learned. So had it not been for that, hmm. where would I be? Just just make the most of you, Nina. Fuck who you want. Take drugs. Don't go to your lectures. First of all, no, no, no. I, do not, I do not agree, agree with that one. I'm not serious. I don't agree with that one. That one, that one. Yeah, excuse me. We don't know him. I don't know who that is. We don't know who that is. First of all, no one agreed that you would say that. (laughs) (laughs) Off camera, everyone's backing me on that one. Guys, just be yourself, man. Just be yourself. Enjoy it. It's actually fun. It's actually fun, though. Let me tell you. But okay, okay. Oh my god, I've got the perfect like ending line. It's not even (laughs) an advice. It's just a fact. There's nothing like normal nobody's normal everyone is weird so just go out knowing that you're weird and the next person is weird and the next person is weird and the person you look up to is weird and your family is weird and the person you fancy is weird and let's all be weird be weird hashtag weird (laughs) (laughs) and we end on that note (laughs)